Now, I actually used something, um, and I'm a, I'm a bit disappointed, uh, but not in the thing that I use, but in the way it's working here, as opposed to the way it works at home. It's called the cube, and I'm going to get this out of the way. Windows in, desktop, folder view, list view. Okay, now, <clears throat> the cube was put out by an entity called the Quartizer Project. You can, and cube is spelled Q-U-B-E. So, um, you download it, you install it, you get a token from Twitter, and you use keystrokes, and you don't see the interface unless you uh, do something like a reply or a direct mention. What Twitter, what the cube does it ta is take what it calls the buffers of Twitter. Those would be your home timeline, your mentions timeline, remember I said those were replies, your direct messages, your favorites, anything you searched for, your sent items. Gussie put it very well in the earlier session. He said, it's like having your, 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 like you're in Outlook, let's say, and you've got your main area, you've got your sent messages, you've got the reply messages, kind of like that, okay? So, but they call them buffers. And I can move from buffer to buffer with control, windows, right arrow. Connections colon four of 199 items. I'm going to do it again. Direct messages colon Direct one. messages. If I want to hear the top message, let's say I, I go back to my replies. Mentions colon four of 199. I do a control windows home. About six minutes ago, CCVIP posted a tech with 46 Twitter's mobile version is a lot easier to use. It is. <laughs> and if I wanted to reply to CCVIP, I would do a control windows R for reply. Control windows R. And it's the S period. Wait, you're not in the... It's on the screen, Lynette. Message colon editor. Yes, that's correct. This is, this is fine. You were testing you. What? You, you were testing them. Yeah. <laughs> it should, the, the <coughs> control windows R will show up. That will show up on the screen. Control windows, oh, by the way, I can enter. Enter, reply succeeded. And it said reply succeeded, as you heard. So things like new messages which i can't do new message is control windows r uh, n control windows n for new message and you're asking me why can't you do it lynn because when i do a control windows n on this computer that was just set up today i get the desktop <laughs> so i cannot use that keystroke we have to go in and disable control windows n going to the desktop Control Windows R for reply, Control Windows D for um, direct messages, but the cube is so smart, if you're in the direct messages buffer, it knows you're trying to send a direct message, and it will, even if you accidentally press Control R, which will go out on, onto the, into the world, and you didn't mean that, <laughs> it will make it a direct message. So that is a great thing because you don't want a personal message going public, okay? So if I want to check out my home timeline, I'm going to move back, and who knows what we'll hear. Well, you heard some of it actually. Home colon 39 of 897, control windows home. That's another thing I found. Not so much with the one I'm using at home, but today in, in the earlier um, session, when I did control windows home, you heard it say control windows home and it didn't actually perform the function so i'm going to try it again about six minutes ago ellen degeneres posted why do you never see hippopotamus is hiding in trees because <laughs> they're really good at it number oh, what? Oh. okay ellen thank you <laughs> yes i follow the ellen show which sounds like the ellen shoe Okay, mm. and as I come on down with the control windows down arrow. About seven minutes ago, Peggy Kern posted, I am testing this new tweet list for. Oh, there you go. I am twist, twisting. Oh, I am testing <laughs> this new tweet list for it. I'm actually, I think I'm going to be showing them tweet list, right? Yes, yeah, terrific. Okay, so it's 
very this as you notice there is nothing on the screen those of you who have a benefit of vision can see that the Baruch logo is up there and U City University of New York and our desktop and things like that but as I move from buffer to buffer messages colon two of two hundred direct messages colon one of two hundred you don't items. see anything I think right Sherry no is that true? Just, there you go. just colon desktop. four of four hundred four items look search for excessive colon ninety nine of nine now I just want to bring up hashtags for two seconds a hashtag is like a subject or um, for instance, the voice, we watch the voice. If you want to talk about or see what other people have tweeted about the voice, then you can put a number sign in front of the hashtag, and I think it's the voice, <laughs> and, and you can search for that hashtag, and then you'll see all of the tweets. Now, to bring it back home, Let's say CCVIP. If CCVIP is tweeting about the, you know, tweeting things out as we do the seminar, if you want to see our tweets, you can hashtag, you know, we, you can actually make up a hashtag. I don't know if we have one, but you can try a uh, number sign CCVIP. Do it, do it. Yeah. <laughs> well, I have to figure, I have to go into the help to find out uh, the search thing. So, so there. <laughs> it's not control Windows S. It, no, it's not control. Uh, it's like control window something. If I figure it out, I'll push Gus over <laughs> and I'll show you. But but you can do that. And Gus uh, and Sh uh, Sherry did do a chat like that. And I was able to search for the hashtag for the chat and find all of the messages or all the tweets, all the tweets for that chat. So it was, it was, and I did that from my phone um, using actually the item or the app that the person just mentioned. Uh, it's called Tweet List. And I think the paid version is called Tweet List Pro. So. Is that ad free? Is that the um, ad free? I've had it so long, I don't remember. Okay. <clears throat> I think you're right, though. I don't know how loud this is going to get. Maybe this you can hold up to the microphone. Okay. Well, oh, <laughs> something could be useful for politicians. I'm not sure. Cube. Uh, the cube? Yes. Oh, okay. So here is... Now my tweet, when someone replies to me, I get it on my phone on the front page. So I'm going to try to get on into the phone itself. I'm on. Okay. Okay, so now I have. You can now purchase a royal baby doll. Yes, <laughs> You can now purchase a royal baby doll. Uh, and and. Well, there you go. Okay. <laughs> the, but the blackout and stuff. Wait, and you, how do you search them through here? Uh, this is this is tweet list, and yeah. I'm just flicking to the right to hear my tweets. Okay. That's all. So this is like her home page on this app. Right. right. This is my home timeline. There you go. Uh, eight apps to make you a better reader. Nice. Yeah. Okay. So and at the bottom you have tabs to go to your your. Let's see if I can do. Yeah. More. Let's. DMs are again direct messages. Mentions, I, rem I told you those. Lists, you can have lists here where you can put, let's say you want uh, people and Huffington, or you have a news list. And so you want New York Times, uh, people, I don't know, uh, CNN, all of those to be in a list uh, and you want to call it news so that you can see all of the news tweets in that list. And that's my home. Okay, 
So that is Tweet List Pro. And it is very accessible and and not expensive. I think if it if it were if it was two ninety nine, it was a lot. So those are the ways the two ways that I mostly interact with Twitter are uh, the Cube and Tweetlist Pro.